This is the stamping department where we are stamping the blade blanks. In the shelf we have all the different tools for the different uh, blade shapes. There are single, uh, single molds and uh, double tools that stamps two blades at the time. It all starts with we have a coil of steel coming into the, uh, this room and uh, we have three different kinds of steel. We have carbon steel, laminated carbon steel and Swedish stainless steel. And the coil is put into this mach machine, goes through this straightening machine into the feeder and into this uh, press, stamping press. And it stamps about uh, one stamp each second. And with the double tooling, it makes like 7,200 knives an hour. The steel. It has been stamped with a factory logo and two stamping, two blades each, each stamping. And this is the waste that are recycled and sent back to the steel mill. The stainless steel is, uh, consists of 90% recycled steel. Now we're at the carbon, in, carbon steel hardening machine uh, where we heat the blades up uh, about seven, eight hundred degrees Celsius and uh, as soon as they get that temperature uh, it changes within. It's the same atoms and same molecules but when we cool them down very fast then they keep the extra bindings they get so when they're cold they are much harder. Actually carbon steel is that hard uh, that they will easily break if you bend them. So we have to also to anneal them afterwards. More about that later. This is our second uh, carbon steel hardening device. Uh, the blades come here in bulk and they have to be sorted and going up in this conveyor and into the um, Induction, inductive heating and cool down very fast and when they come out they are already cold enough that you can hold them. We have now come to the stainless steel hardening device. Uh, this is way different from the carbon steel hardening in that way that it's much higher temperature, it's much longer time, it has to stay hot. On the other side, it isn't that uh, forced cooling down. You have more time to, to cool down the knife. You can see the robot behind me that put, putting the blade blanks on the conveyor belt to, through the oven. This uh, higher part of the oven is the hot, hot part. It's quite different from carbon steel uh, hardening as you have much higher temperature, it's over 1000 degrees Celsius. That makes you must have a protective atmosphere. And the lower part of the oven is the cooling off. And when the blade comes out in the other end, it's cold and uh, it's ready for an annealing. And your, the annealing is to take away the brittleness out of the blade, so it doesn't break that easy. You get a, must, much, a blade that can withstand bending for much more after the annealing. Here behind me we have the ovens for the annealing. Uh, after the hardening we have to anneal the blades to get rid of the brittleness so they don't, will not break that easy. And when they are annealed the tempering is over and they are ready to be grinded. Come on and see how we grind them with the robots. These are the blades going into the grinding machine. And the robots uh, carry them between the machines. They have one side for grinding, one side of the blade. And Closer to me you have grinding the other side of the blade. And when it's grinded and finished, this robot gives the blade to his friend 
that are deburring or honing the edge. To understand a little bit more about the grinding, this is how it looks back in the days, where the men are sitting on their grinding horses, grinding uh, the blades all the days with the hands in the water, etc. This was a very tough and hard work. So I'm very happy that we have robots making this today. But you have to keep in mind, a robot works every day uh, very good, but it never comes with any suggestions or improvements. You have to have uh, uh, skilled, creative, innovative people to do that. So we, today we have a lot of good engineers that think about the improving the production because robots will never come with any suggestion that wise. When we are grinding uh, the, the blades, it creates a lot of heat and we have to use lots of cooling water to not overheat the edge. Uh, when the steel is grinded away, you get like a powder of steel in, in the water. And as stainless steel contains chrome, we have to take care of that. Uh, you can see in the floor where the water goes back to the um, filter device. Uh, this powder of steel that is in the water, we make uh, pellets, we fil filter it out and then make pellets. And it's much more chrome in this pellet than in any ore you can find anywhere on the earth. So this is very attractive for uh, recycling to get the chromium back. This is the polishing and uh, buffing. It is like four station. First, the uh, robot picks the blades up, then it goes to the coarse polishing, then it goes to the fine polishing or buffing, and then it puts them back in the blade carriers again. And we can see the same over here where we have the manual polishing. It's the same thing. We have a fine, uh, coarse uh, polishing and a fine buffing. As the blade now is finished, it takes two different paths in the factory, depending if it's going to be a wooden handle or a polymer molded handle. We are now standing in, in the storage room for, for the birch. This is Swedish birch. We buy it in pieces like this. In the next room, it's going to be cut in pieces and milled to the typical uh, barrel shape. This saw cuts the birch up in smaller pieces, so it's ready to go into the mill to get the typical barrel shape of our knives. And here you can see how the shape is milled in this machine. Now we have entered the painting room where the handles are oiled with linseed oil or stained red. They are painted in these barrels that are rotating so the paint or the oil is covering the handle. Uh, after the painting or oiling it goes into a, a drying room to flash off. When the handle is finished, they are mounted together with a blade manually at this department. So this is the maintenance and tool making department. Here we are making the stamping tools for the blade blanks 
as well as the molding tools for the handles and uh, knife sheaths. This is the laser engraving machine. Um, all the like uh, food industry knives are laser engraved in this machine. Uh, earlier we saw the stamping where we stamped a logo. When it comes to food industry knives that are grinded all the way from the spine to the edge, we cannot stamp a logo. We have to laser engrave it because it the stamped logo would have been grinded away. Also, we have a lot of knives that are laser engraved due to design or other features made in this machine. This is our pad printing machine where we can print three different colors wet and wet uh, to make to customize your knives. Now we have come to the manual molding machines where the handles are molded to the blades. These molding machines are used for molding sheet and other components for the for the knives. Uh, this is another full automatic uh, molding machine, um, and th this is some of the range we mold in this molding machine. The handle of the knife is molded in three different steps. This is the first molding, the second molding, and the third molding with a friction grip. We have now come to the packaging department where the molded colors of Companion are repacked to color mix. This is our warehouse where all the knives are stored after production. When we started to stamp the blade, that was done on forecast, but when it comes here, they are usually already sold. We make about 25,000 knives a day.